Ding dong. <laughs> That's what you're hearing right now, right? Yeah. The ghosts yeah. and goblins already out on the streets. Yeah, for the next uh, few hours, candy will be poured into kids' sacks and plastic <laughs> pumpkins. Six on your side, Anna Silver is live along where else? Harrison, Harrison Boulevard, Boulevard, where all the action and is just getting done. Michelle, it is getting busy down here on Harrison Boulevard. As you can see behind me, take a look at this house. It is all decked out with spiders, light and cobwebs, of course, and they are all ready to hand out candy. There's actually a line to this house, as you can see, and that's the case with many of these houses around here. Now, earlier on, I spoke with a couple who actually trick or treated here on Harrison Boulevard at when they were kids and they actually didn't know each other at that time. They actually went to the same school. They met later and got married and they make it a tradition every year to stroll the streets of Harrison Boulevard and pick out their favorite house. This is one of them right here. This yeah. is beautiful. And the one up the street with the tall ghost, it's about, I guess, 16 feet tall. And they Something have a like cat that. up there too that's really neat. Yeah. Yep. It's just it's just a, a nice atmosphere and we feel like we're home when we're in the North End because this was our home. The couple says the houses down here look just about the same as they did 60 years ago. Back then, they say they got wrapped up popcorn balls, caramel apples, and homemade fudge when they trick-or-treated. They didn't get very much candy at that time. Now, keep in mind, if you do decide to come down here, the majority of Harrison Boulevard is blocked off to all traffic for pedestrians only here. The only street that you can drive down for limited traffic is Lemon.